Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best home screen widgets that you can get for your iOS 18 device. Now, as you know, with iOS 18, we have gotten a lot of customization features for the home screen. And when you also have some really cool widgets, you will make your home screen look even better. And we're starting things off with Willy Widgets. This is a pretty cool app that offers free widgets for the home screen of your device. We have some pretty useful ones to right here. You can see we have one for the battery, then we have a medium one for storage and battery as well. And we have one right there at the top for storage, but it's interactive, which means that I can switch to the battery right there or I can switch to the display info as easy as that. We have the brightness right there. We have the battery percentage and then we have the storage as well. Moving here into the widgets panel, you can see we have a ton of different widgets from this app that we can add to the home screen. We have quotes, we have like run streaks, screen information right here, simple date. We have a ton of different things like a subscriber counter here for YouTube channels. It's actually pretty cool. You can view your steps, your story. So a ton of different widgets that you can actually add from this app to the home screen of your iOS 18 device. Next up is dynamic lyrics. In my opinion, one of the best home screen widgets that you can get on an iOS device. It shows you here a music player. Of course, you will have the controls there from where you can control, play or pause or go forward or backwards on a song, but it also shows you right here the lyrics of the song you're currently listening to. And it's actually dynamic, so it moves through the lyrics as you're listening to the song, and it will highlight the part that it's being right now played on that song. So it's pretty awesome, and it offers a ton of like different widgets for your home screen. Right here we have the bigger one, which of course includes more lyrics, and then we have also a smaller one right there, which just shows you the current words that are being played on that song. Next up is BitBuddy. Now, this is a pretty cool app and it's actually very useful as it allows you to keep track of your storages. So we all have like different SD cards or maybe an external storage or like an SSD maybe that you save a lot of things. You can actually add all of them right here on this app and just track how much free storage you have on each of your external storages. So right here we have one of the widgets that you can add from this app. It shows you how many drives you have and of course the total capacity of your drives. Now if you wanna quickly add a new one, you can tap on this other widget right there. And as you can see right here on the app, you can add your external SSD, whatever you have right there, the use storage, the capacity right there, and then all that will be displayed through the widget. Usage is up next. This is an app that has been around for a while now and it offers some amazing widgets for the home screen of your device. Now, right here we have two of them. We have one for the memory, so it will show you the RAM memory of your device, the free and the used RAM memory of your device. Then we have here a simple one for the battery and then we have one right there at the top. This will show you the usage of the storage the usage of the RAM memory and the battery as well, but that's one that I have actually created myself. So you can create your own widgets with this app. So you go right here to widgets, tap the plus button, you can create your own widgets. It's actually pretty cool. Now it offers a ton of different widgets. So right here you can see some of them that you can actually add from the widgets panel. So you will have here the storage one, you have ones for your seller data so you can track how much you're using, how much seller data you have left and all that stuff. So it's actually pretty cool. Next up, we have one called Quick. Now with Quick, you will have a ton of different widgets that actually do look very different from other widgets on the home screen of your device. Like here we have three of them. You can add a ton of them from the app. So we have one with a date right there. Then we have one from the control center where we have the controls here for airplane mode, cellular, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And then we have a clock there, but it also has a few different apps which you can actually open from here. So I wanna open Safari, I can actually do that as easy as that. Now, if you go into the app right here, you will have the place where you can add widgets. So you will have the small, the medium, and then the large widgets you wanna add you just tap right here there, add widget, and you will have a ton of different widgets which you can add there. Now, when adding a widget like this one right here, which you use to launch different apps, you can actually edit this, you tap right there. You can go into each of these apps and you can 
actually remove any of them and add any new ones if you want to. The next one is widget. Of course, I have to make place for widget on any of my home screen widget videos because it's probably the best widget app ever. So here we have a couple of different widgets from this app. So we have a bigger one right there with the clock and the current date and the calendar right there. And just tell me how cool does that look? And then we have another one here with the Apple Vision Pro and it actually looks amazing. It shows you the current battery percentage on your device and it shows your current date and the weather as well. So with widget, of course, you will have these transparent widgets that have a transparent background. To do that is very simple on the home screen of your device. You just tap and hold, you go to the edit mode, then you swipe to the next page where you have no icons at all. You take a screenshot there and then all you have to do here is just go to widget and then go to manage and go to set up transparency and just load the screenshot right here. And then if you just want to like discover a ton of different widgets that you can add for your home screen, you go to the explore section right here and you will be able to find a ton of different widgets. When you find the one you want to add, you simply tap on it, import it, and then you will be able to simply add a widget to your home screen using widget. Next up is Top Widgets. The Top Widgets is another app that does offer a ton of different widgets. So here we have a couple of them. We have this one from where we can open any of these apps as easy as that. And we have another one here that shows a ton of different information regarding our device. So we have right there the battery, the current time. We have right there the processor of the device and basically everything you can think of regarding a device will be displayed right here, which is pretty cool. Now going into the app, you will have here a ton of things you can add to your home screen. So here we have the popular widgets, but you can switch here to iOS 18. We have some widgets here for the control center. And then we also have here like the countdowns, the lock screen widgets, the photo widgets, the X banner where you will have these informations regarding your iPhone. Pretty cool. And you will have calendars, weather, clocks, health, shortcuts, voice widget right there. So it's actually pretty cool. It has a ton of different widgets. You just save them from there. And then when you add a widget from top widgets on the home screen, you simply go to edit widget tap right there on the first line and then just select one of the widgets that you have saved into the app and you will be able to add it right here. Next up is widget. Now this one is a simple app, but I really love this app. It offers the small widgets. It doesn't offer any other size. We only have the smaller ones, but it's actually pretty cool. Like here we have a couple of widgets. We have one with the battery and also our activity information right there. Then we have one here that we have two different emojis. We also have the current battery and the current date. Now you can go into the app and right here, you can go to new widget. You will have all the different widgets here from ones that can display photos or just one information, then two informations right here. Then we have the trio and the quattro right here. But what's really cool is that of course, you can actually go ahead and customize these. So if we have one right there, so we have in top left, we have the date, we can switch to battery or something else. We can also change the background there. So it's actually pretty cool. So you can see right here, we can pick a, even an emoji if we want to. So as easy as that, we can customize the widget and then of course save it and add it to the home screen. MD Widgets is up next. This app also offers a ton of different widgets. We have a couple of them right here on the home screen. We have a bigger one that will display you all kinds of different informations regarding your device. So we have the battery, memory, storage, and CPU right there. Then we have the control center toggles. We have right there the brightness and the volume and some information regarding the device. And we have a smaller one here with the calendar, but we can switch to device info and weather as well. So it's interactive. Now, if we go into the app, Right here, you will be able to actually customize and add a ton of different widgets. So right here, we have the widgets. You can tap on add widget right here. You can just go ahead and simply discover here a ton of different widgets and or just go to different categories right here and just save them or even customize them. So when you add one right here, we can go ahead and customize it with like different fonts and different setups, different backgrounds. Of course, you can even add like a transparent background. And also you can just change the action of what you do when you tap on the widget, 
open this app or maybe even run any of your shortcuts. And last but not least is World Clock. Now with World Clock you will have a ton of different cities in one widget. So we have a few different examples right here. We have one with four different cities and we have this map one right there. So this one is pretty cool. It shows you the daytime and the nighttime there. It's actually pretty awesome. Then we have one with a couple of cities and we have another one with three cities. Now when you add this, you can use the cities that you have added within the app or you can just tap on edit widget and choose here the cities so you can select manually which city you want to display. So that is it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button if you did, of course subscribe for more videos like this, all the links you need will be right down below in the description of the video, again thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.